My name is uh, Dr. Emmanuel Ugbarugba. I'm a gastroenterologist. I decided to go into medicine when I was uh, about 13, 14 years old. Um, in the past, I wanted to be a scientist, a pastor, um, want to be a boat or ship captain, engineer, you know, lots of stuff. I was good in sciences, so, so I asked my dad one day, I uh, said, what do you think? And he said, okay, you have another brother that is a doctor, you know, and you seem to be good in sciences, you know, uh, why don't you, you know, think about medicine? So there was no pressure, it just gave me a suggestion because I wasn't even thinking of that. Then I kind of thought of it, I'm like, so I've got to talk to people, you know, make diagnoses, treat people, it just sounded fun to me. And um, I was going into sciences anyway, so I just needed to focus on like biology. So uh, that's when I decided to be a doctor. I got my uh, medical degree from Nigeria, 1999, from University of Benin. And I have a master's degree in the public administration uh, with major in uh, health service administration from Southeastern University, Washington, D.C and uh, did my residency at Cook County Hospital, Chicago, finished in 2008, and went into private practice from 2008, um, then started working at Ohio State University as an assistant professor, as a hospitalist in 2015. Uh, got into fellowship in 2018, and I finished my fellowship in 2021. Um, I'm a general gastroenterologist and finishing fellowship, um, I wanted to work in a group that has like um, low turnaround. Um, the digestive group here, they've been here for like 20 years and uh, when I interviewed with them, I had a good vibe. Uh, people that work around them enjoy working around them and I wanted to work in a place where I can you know, stay a long time in my practice. So that's why I chose the Genesis. I like talking to my patients. I like listening to them. And um, I want my conversation with them to end with a smile. I, I know they've been through a lot. Most of the time they know their prognosis or they have an idea what it is. So I try to kind of look for a silver lining you know, if it's something about their life or something they've been through, something to connect with them. Um, then at the end of the conversation, I really want them to be able to appreciate the fact that um, we understand where they're coming from and that we're going to do the best we can to help them. 